booktube it's Allie also known as Allie's books and creativity today we are doing a read in book day so I'm going to be reading throughout the day and recording it's not a 24 hour readathon or a weekly readathon like I normally do this is something new I scheduled for the new year on my calendar for the I have like two calendars one calendar for like the stuff outside of the YouTube or social media world and then one for like the YouTube world so I can do some more contents with you guys YouTube contents with you guys where I can do more stuff with you um so for the reading day I got one book I'm reading now and we're and I'm gonna see if I can finish it today if not it's okay I just do this for fun I don't do this to impress so I am going to first start with Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. I am right now on page 257, chapter 18. So I have like 10, 11 chapters left in this book and I'm done with it. So we'll see. Because also in the middle of this recording, I'd be doing laundry. I've been doing on and off cleaning. So I might add a little bit of an audio book as well. So that will be something to do. And I'm also I'm going to be cooking too, but that will not be recorded because I don't need to be recording while cooking because that is pretty dangerous. <laughs> and I don't want to break my expensive technology. So yeah. So other than that, let's get started. First, before I start reading, I want to talk about what Love and Gelato is all about. It's about a character named Lena who is losing her mother and her mother's dying wishes for her to go to Italy to be with her dad. And she explores Italy. She gets to know her dad a little more. And you see a big connection in the book, not giving detail, because no spoilers. If I don't like spoilers, I'm sure none of you like spoilers. So yeah, that's what basically this book's about. About the character traveling Italy on her mom's dying wish. So that's what the book's about. And you find interesting things in here. It's And it's a really cute story. It's a cute contemporary. makes you smile. I really highly recommend this book. Alright, off to reading. The time is 12.50 p.m. Um, how can I word this? I only got some little progress in for Love and Gelato today. I just had to get some stuff done. So I am on chapter 20, page 280. Hopefully I can get it done today with this read-in day. If not, it's not a big deal, but it will just that it'll just be the book I read for the day, which is okay. But I do have the joke for the video. We're going to do joke for video recording. And this is the joke for the day. How does Spider-Man get famously well known? Think about it. Can't guess? Through the web. That's our joke for the day. All right, I'm going to go back to reading, and I will update you all again soon, sometime today, and go from there. All right, see ya. Hey, all, I'm back again. Um, I was reading, I took a nap, and then I got a phone call from family, so I'm, so I'm reading right, I was reading a little bit, and then I'll tell you the page I am. At right now, I am on page 334, chapter 25. I think I'm definitely going to finish this tonight. Most, oh yeah, 100% now. But I did take an hour nap, and I missed my call. Missed my mom's calls. So I had to call her back, and now my friend and I are going out to see family. So that will be fun. But I will come back, I will read, I'll update you guys, because this is also still a re YouTube recording day. So, finally I have makeup on. 
I finally got some volume on my face. I don't look like I'm dead. <laughs> or look like I came out of my grave or something. So, yeah. Other than that, I will update you guys later. And I'll see you sometime later tonight. Alright. Later. It is 9.23 p.m. I have an update before I go and end this video. I have finished Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars from Good for Goodreads. I just loved this book. It made me smile ear to ear. I just loved the contemporary in this book. And it made me read and explore the world of Italy. That's what I loved about it. So the next one I'm reading, it's a companion book, and it's book number two, but it's a companion book called Love and Luck. And we're it's talking about Addie's story. And I'll read you the concept, but that's it, because I know some people who are watching probably have, has not read this trilogy, and I want to avoid any spoilers. I wanted this to be real life, not a detour. Addie is visiting Ireland for her aunt's over-the-top destination wedding and hoping she can stop thinking about the one horrible thing that left her miserable and heartbroken and threatens her future. But her brother Ian isn't about to let her forget and his constant need needling leads to arguments and even a fistfight between the two once inspirable siblings. But when Addie discovers an unusual guidebook, Ireland for the Heartbroken, hidden in the dusty shelves of the hotel library, she's finally able to escape her anxious mind and Anne's criticism. And then their travel plans change. Suddenly, Anne finds herself on a whirlwind tour of the Emerald Island, uh, Emerald Isle, trapped in the world's smallest vehicle with Ian and his amazingly cute Irish accented friend Rowan as the trio journeys over the over her breathtaking green hills past countless castles and through a number of fairy tale forests. Addie hopes her guidebook will heal not only her broken heart but also who shattered relationship with her brother. That is if they don't get completely lost along the way. So that looks like a very interesting companion to Love and Gelato. And Love and Gelato is based on Lena's story. And I already told, and I believe I already told you guys that in the beginning. So book two is going to be on Addie's story. And when you read Love and Gelato, you'll see the connection. All right. This video has come to a close. I will see you all another day and have a good night. All right. Good night.